what's going on Belflers? Gwen the Recovering Witch here. If you are new to my channel, hi, welcome, let's be friends, maybe after this video. But please like, subscribe, comment, and share. I am also on Instagram, and today I am actually doing an unboxing video. Um, I was a lucky duck and I got um, chosen and won um, on an Instagram contest um, from a small business called Morgu's Nest. The Warren Goose Nest is um, an Etsy shop. She is out in Illinois, one of the daughters of the Morgan. And um, yeah, so I wanted to do this unboxing video with you. Um, I have not seen the items yet, but here is the packaging, again, from Etsy, okay? And it is made with love, with the thank you. And then I got a, a coupon to say thank you for 25% off the next time I do a purchase. I just got lucky. Um, I won like $50 worth of stuff and since I won she was really nice. So Anne has had her Etsy shop since 2014. Okay so she's been around for a couple years. Um, she is on Instagram. Um, on Instagram it says she is the daughter of the Morgan creatrix of Morgu's Nest on Etsy and always sends some positive energy your way. She says, may your path be abundantly blessed. Who don't want to be blessed? Hmm? Okay. Oh, thanks, Anne. Uh, Y'all, she had this cute card with a wolf on it. Um, look at this. There we go. Um, I also got association besides crows. I also have wolves as well. Um, I have a dream catcher. I'll do a video on my room, my, where the magic happens. Um, yeah, and I have a drum catcher that my mom gave me, um, with a beautiful Indian woman, Native American, and, um, there's a wolf just like this one. Um, and so here is her handwritten letter telling me congratulations for winning her drawing and, um, for her IG giveaway. So yes, be sure to check Ann out in her store. Oh, I love that. Man, this is heavy. Okay. Right in the bottom, she's got a printout of everything. So what I got was the Aura Shield for Empath Protection Oil, um, Divine Sight, the herbal powder, and Florida Water. This I was really excited to try. So she's got a note from the shop um, and she gave me, she was nice enough, she gave me two empath oils um, for psychic aura protection. The Aura Shield Empath Protection Oil, I'm assuming is probably in this. And look at the packaging, she put like all the thank you stickers on them. Where's my knife? This is a knife. I'm sure there's other knives that other witches have that they're bigger. That could have ended really badly. <laughs> okay. Uh, then inside another packaging. So she does care about this packaging to make sure shit's not broken. Just FYI. Which is good. It's really good. I got two of them. Yeah, I, uh, I try to protect my auras as much as possible, man. Because, you know, like... For being an empath, you do really absorb a lot. Um, oh man, I'm so excited for this. But if y'all can see, and I'll read about it. Okay, so here we go. This is the aura, uh, the aura shield. And she's got her herbs in there. There's her little logo right there. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay. It's a roller. Oh, that smells so good. I'm going to put this on right now. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, most of these products I cannot ingest. She did say that on the label, but I want to eat it. I want to eat it. Um, oh, this smells so good. I wish y'all could smell that too. Like, has YouTube or Instagram, have they created, like, the smell of vision Like, I wish y'all could smell this. Like, it just, that mint and that eucalyptus, guys. 
oh my gosh, like, I had like a little headache on the side over here and like, oh, I just gotta, hang on, there we go. smell vision get on it. I'll read the list out for you guys. It's going to be a very short video. Um, but it says, I created this Aura Shield anointing oil with the intention of protecting the wearer from negative energies invading their aura and to aid in psychic protection as well as shield from psychic vampires energy drainers. This essential oil blend will was created to help empaths, energy workers, light workers, mediums, healers, witches, spirit workers, and anyone who wants extra auric protection. The oils in this blend are eucalyptus and mint. The oil is ritually crafted and imbued with protective energy, then is blessed with clear quartz, lavender, juniper berries, sage, rosemary, and amaranth. The carrier oil is fractioned coconut oil, which is extremely resistant to breaking down and does not go rancid like other carrier oils. Okay. Oh my goodness. This, oh, I feel better already. That was awesome. Um, and I got, she gave me two of them. Oh, I'm so excited. That's good stuff right there. I might want to put some right up here too. And oh my crown. Okay. Okay. This must be the Divine Sight Herbal Powder, and I have, um, I'm going to turn this into a video, but my hats, um, my witch hats. So, again, this is the packaging, sorry, I should have shown you guys, but it comes in a container. Um, yeah, I have some plans with this powder when I am reading tarot cards, so I am going to make a little satchel to put on my hat and you know why the witches had pointy hats it was to be in tune with um, uh, divination and getting messages from higher spirits so that is why there are pointy hats for witches even though mine's not pointy but I will get one later here is the divine sight powder in the packaging okay And it's, oh, this smells good too. And it's really packed down in there, y'all. Like, there is a lot in this little jar. Like, let me tell you. I'm going to use this um, for my hats. And, yeah, it's very fine. It's really packed in there really good, y'all. Like, it smells really good. So this is potent divination pulverized power incense herbal blends of corresponding herbs, botanicals, spices, barks, and roots that I have selected specifically for this recipe based on their magical and energetic properties. Some of the herbs include this blend are mugwort and wormwood, which I do have, intended for use during divination sessions to aid in opening the third eye chakra to enhance psychic awareness. Used by burning on a charcoal disc or used in sachets. Dress spell candles with it. Put inside amulets, spell bottles, poppets, or carry some on you in a medicine pouch. Alright, please note, herbal blends are intended for magical use and ingredients are chosen for their metaphysical correspondences. If you choose to burn it as an incense, the scent may not be what you expected and overpowering. Burn only a small pinch on a charcoal disc as well in a well ventilated area y'all that is so important gotta open a window gotta open a window for the beginner witch okay and i'm so excited for this so again florida water okay florida water florida water and this came just in time because i was just about to be out of it um and i actually attended i wanted to learn how to make my own um, i'm getting into learning how to craft my own powders um, and Florida water especially is something I use every single day um, for cleansing, spraying on myself, calling on um, my guides because they do like that smell. Um, yeah, I uh, again, she really takes care of that packaging y'all. Um, yeah, 
like I really wanted to uh, um, learn how to make my own because I use them on a daily basis. But man, if hers smells so good, that's what I'm going to do. So here is the bottle. Okay. Here's her Florida water. And on the back it says, Ideal Potion for Purification, Blessing, Consecration, and Drawing Positive Energies. Okay, that is what the use of her Florida water is. Um, typically, the Florida water that I use is what you would find. Oh, I don't have it right here, but, you know, it's the blue cologne bottle that you could find, like, maybe at Walmart or any Botanica, really. Um, and it's a big bottle. Um, very alcohol blend. Um... I, but I wanted to see like a very organic one made and so this one the, oris the original recipe created exclusively for Moragu's nest ritually handmade using essential oils herbs botanicals for spiritual use only do not drink keep away from children adult use okay so again for blessings and purification so I do use that all the time and oh, it smells good already okay Oh, goodness. It's got, like, almost that same smell, um, like most do, um, like at the very beginning, but then you really smell, like, those herbs in there, which is not a bad thing. Okay, specifically, she said not to ingest, okay? I will not ingest. You know, I do have an alcoholic mind though. I'm glad you put that on there. <laughs> All serious, do not ingest, okay? Um, I have made holy water and it had selenite powder and I did write that in. I'm like, do not ingest, okay? Um, I will let y'all, I, I am going to make a video on to show how to, how I make my own holy water. Um, but anyway, um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Again. Smell-o-vision. Smell-o-vision. Okay? Smell-o-vision. Get on it. You need to read about Florida water. Okay. Delightfully scented Florida water, ritually made with natural ingredients and essential oils and charged with herbs and flowers. This is my own recipe that is a combination of a traditional hoodoo recipe with added essential oils, herbs, and botanicals. This recipe was developed because I wanted to create a more magically potent and all-natural version of traditional Florida water to use to clear unwanted negative energies from my home and sacred space, as well as uh, use it as a smokeless coral smudge uh, to bless my space and imbue it with positive vibes. After having excellent results, I've decided to share my creation to benefit my customers. I am confident that you will love it as much as I do. The photos in the product listed were taken immediately after mixing this recipe. Please note that the color of the liquid will darken as the herbs imbue the water, resulting in a darker green. Although made with organic ingredients, this Florida water recipe is not intended to be consumed. Please only use externally. Yeah, because, you know, some people would be trying that. Um, okay. Traditional folklore and historical uses of Florida water. Okay, so this is good to know. Florida water was first introduced in the United States in 1808 with a base ingredient of alcohol. Florida water contains a blend of dissolved essential oils, including lemon oil, orange oil, and lavender oil. Sold in general stores and pharmacies, it was instantly lauded for its many uses. Men and women alike benefited from the refreshing properties it possessed. Its strong magical properties have made it a staple in hoodoo, voodoo, santeria, wicca, and witchcraft practices. Florida water can be used for cleansing. It has a similar effect to smudging, uh, to clean altar spaces as an offering to ancestors and deity, and it is often a spell component. Magically speaking, Florida water cologne tends to be used most commonly for all types of purification. It is sometimes even used as a substitute for holy water. It is sprinkled as a spiritual cleansing agent onto mojo hands that one worries have received negative influences. It is added to baths and washes and is even used in some versions of peace water. I've never heard of peace water before. 
Just opening a bottle and leaving it in a room is said to purify the air of bad spirits and energies. Okay. Some people also recommend it for removing a person's melancholy and depression. Many people also now use it to cleanse their candles and altar tools before use. Historically, in old time voodoo, Florida water was more often used as a drawing ingredient. One simple trick for using it was to put it in a small fireproof container and ignite it, and then warm one's hands over the flames as a way to call money into one's hand. Another old money spell was to hang a little horseshoe magnet over one's door that had been fed with gold and silver. Uh, mad okay, so gold and silver magnetic sand, then periodically sprinkle it with Florida water perfume so that it would attract success and money into the house. One variant on the honey jar spell for love uses an apple full of Florida water, clover, and... clover and verbena oils and honey as its mechanism. It is placed in a flower pot beneath a plant, and as the plant grows, so grows the target's love. Ooh. Disclaimer. Please note that Etsy does not allow its sellers here to make any claims relative to any outcomes pertaining to products. I make no guarantee regarding the outcome of using this product for Etsy policy sold as a curio only. Totally get it. And thank you so much for this because um, getting down to like that history of it and the uses for it. This is so beautiful. Um, this could be added into a book of shadows. Mm. Guys, this was my, oh my goodness. This, I am in love. I, I really am in love. So, yes. If you are interested, I will post the link down below for more Goose Nest. Again, she is a daughter of the Morgan. If you are um, have been a practitioner for years, um, you notice that maybe some time is um, of the essence, and maybe you just want to purchase from small business. Um, and um, again, energy going into cash flow. Um, I mentioned that in my cash book video. Um, but yes, these are made with love. And um, again, just from the kindness of somebody who is also a practicing witch um, and ha it seems like for many, many years. Um, again, I wanted to do this shout out for her because again, I feel like at times like these, um, we have to stick together. And thank you so very much. Um, your products, I did list it already, um, but I wanted to do the unboxing and I gave it all the five. Um, I am so excited to use this. Um, and this Florida water, man, like I'm a sold customer. I really am. And this empath aura, like between the two, I already feel so much better already, especially with this full moon energy and what's been going on today. I will list her information. Um, again, just a friendly reminder, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit the notification bell. Anyway, until next time, my bell floors, peace, love, and light to you, and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye.